This is um, another hackathon project um, building a native uh, multi-sig wallet um, for stacks. Um, yeah, so let's take another look here. So multi-sig support in stack network, why? Um, basically multi-signature wallets are wallets that are controlled by multiple keys. So like a two of three wallet means that to spend from the wallet, two keys must sign the transaction from a group of like three trusted keys. Um, the Stacks uh, blockchain, much like Bitcoin, has some native support for these wallets. Like you don't need to implement them with a contract or anything like that, um, which is a really nice feature of the Stacks blockchain. Um, today, the only software that we have available for use uh, for these con for these kinds of addresses relies on a format called uh, Stacks over BTC wire format. Um, this is really painful to use as maybe anybody who has attempted to use it um, would be able to tell you. So like each um, stacks transfer that you wanted to do using this um, format would require two um, large Bitcoin transactions. So this can cost like at least $50 in Bitcoin fees, um, but then maybe even more painfully than that, um, these transactions can fail um, and they do at a rate of about 10 to 20 percent. Um, and when they fail, you have to go through the whole process again, um, which is super painful. Um, finally, you can only do transfers and call stack stacks. So you can't do other kinds of contract calls. Um, so you can't do um, uh, POX delegation. You can't invoke arbitrary contracts. You can't own NFTs, stuff like that. Um, so you might be wondering how much does this actually matter? Well, um, about 10% of the total supply of stacks um, is stored on these kinds of wallets. So that means that there is a lot of stacks out there that could potentially um, benefit from something nicer to use here. So this hackathon project. So the goal here was to provide something like a one page web script that users can interact with locally to perform multi-sig tasks with their actual ledger. Um, a bonus output of this project was to also build a CLI. Um, I'm going to actually demo the CLI um, because it's a little easier to demo and also it can interact with an emulated ledger app. Um, it works with our current ledger app, the one that's available on Ledger Live, um, and it introduces a new wire format for sharing partially signed transactions between parties in the multi-sig script. Um, so before I do the demo proper, I'm just gonna give you like a preview of what the one page web script looks like. So kind of looks like this, um, which is like a hideous uh, web page, um, but it's pretty much identical to the multi-sig script that people are using today for stacks over BTC. Um, cool, so let's switch over to my terminal for the actual demo. So here, um, this is the ledger emulator running in my terminal, which is um, fun. You can sort of see what's going on on the screen. It requires some ASCII art. Um, and then here, I've got my um, multi-sig script. So um, the first thing it's going to do is actually just create a multi-sig wallet using um, three different derivation paths um, from this simulated ledger. Um, so here it says it's made a two of three multi-sig address. These are the public keys um, that comprise that multi-sig address. And these are also the paths um, at which you can find each of those addresses in your ledger um, and the ultimate address that'll be used um, for the transaction. Um, so then the next thing that we'll wanna do is actually create um, the um, unsigned transaction that will be passed around between different parties. So we call create TX. Um, we need to fill in some information. So the from address, um, we'll use that. Um, supply these public keys. Um, the required number of signers is two. Um, we need to pick an address to like send this transfer to. So I'm just going to use the fern address. Um, Microstax to send then 50,000, um, and then I really want this to confirm, so maybe I'll do 60,000, um, and then great. So now I have um, this unsigned transaction payload. 
um, that I'm going to need to iteratively sign. So to do this, I'm uh, also going to use this um, script. I think it's partial. Um, so I paste in the transaction payload that's unsigned, and then I specify which path um, I want to sign with. So I'm going to sign with this path. Now it says, please check and approve the signing on the ledger. So let's switch back over to our ledger and see what's happening. So here you can kind of make out that the ledger is displaying some information. So it's telling you the origin that you're trying to spend out of. Um, this is that multi-sig address that we saw from before. Um, it gives you information about the actual contents of the transaction. So you see the nonce, the fee, the amount, um, and also who you're sending to. Um, if I specify the memo, it would show up there um, and I can approve or reject. So I'm gonna approve. Um, and here we now have a partially signed transaction um, and I'm going to need to actually sign it again uh, with um, another one of the keys. So now I supply um, the um, signed once transaction. Um, and I'm going to need to specify um, a different uh, derivation path. If I tried to sign it with the same derivation path again, this is the script would error. Um, let's sign it with two. So then we go back here. We see um, sort of the same stuff again because we're signing the same transaction. Boom. And now this time um, it's output a hex encoding the actual transaction, and we can um, confirm that this transaction is signed correctly by using um, the stacks inspect binary, um, calling decode TX on this. We can see it's verified OK, so that means that the signature is valid. This will be processed successfully, um, broadcast on the stacks network. It tells you from address that all matches what we expect. You can see that there were two signatures. So the second two um, public keys were used. And then the first public key is, is just the public key. Um, and then we can also see uh, that the payload that we signed was just a token transfer of 50,000 stacks being sent to um, the burn address. Cool, um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so that's my that's my multi-sig um, signing script.